Looks pretty good today. 70 on a high. 67 for tomorrow. West 8 to 16. 7 to 14. So two good days in a row. I'm bound to the butcher shop to get some knives in a butcher and I was expecting a call from a lady to pick up some knives in Norfolk. She had her knives and some neighbor's knives. That's what she told me yesterday. Well, it's 11, 1045 right now. And I hadn't heard from her so I figured I'd pick the butcher knives up and then maybe I'll hear from her on the way. Maybe I won't hear from her at all. Who you knows? Sometimes you get calls like that. I got my knives and my neighbor's knives. Can you come over and sharpen them? It's changing the subject 180 degrees. I don't think you ever met my buddy Boyd. I have a metal detecting buddy turned knife sharpener, turned salon scissor sharpener in Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, he's coming in town today for a couple of days he wants to go spinning. I said, okay. He's staying at 20, I think he said 27th Street at the Landonada. And he's bringing a gift. He's bringing me a gift. He says, Max, this, this is an old thing I'm giving you, but maybe you can get some use out of it. i tell you one thing. If it ain't too bad a shape, it don't mean a whole lot of work. It'll be a hell of a gift. I'll bring you in the loop when we get it and take a look at it. It can produce a lot of yellow metal too in the right area. Okay, enough on that subject. Anyway, Boyd will be here this afternoon. He's driving up. He left Charlotte this morning early. I'll get back to you on that. I think we'll get in a spin with him somewhere this afternoon. Not sure where. I probably not would be closer so that's where he's stand, but been so damn bad I doubt we go to Nada. But what the heck? Here we are, the butcher. Well, there's a butcher knife. Butcher shop knives, four butcher knives and four bony knives. Well, I'm getting ready to start on the butcher's knives. And the lady from Norfolk who wanted me to pick her knives up, she's changed her mind, maybe tomorrow or Wednesday. In the meantime, I have another lady from the oceanfront just called me. Says, I'm bringing you some carving knives. I got eight or ten carving knives I need to get sharpened. They're eight to ten inches long, twelve inches long. Can you sharpen them? I said, sure. So she's dropping them off in about 15 minutes. I'll have a peek at them and see what they look like. Well, it's uh, 12.52. Uh, my buddy Board, he just called me. He just arrived. He just arrived at Virginia Beach at 23rd Street. I told you 27th, but he's staying at 23rd. That's driving, man, from Charlotte to here by noon. Good Guga Muga. I don't know what time he left, but he must have left way before the crack of dawn. Anyway, he's uh, tired. He's going to rest up today. Doesn't want to go detecting, so we'll make that a detecting spin with Boy Demar. Uh, we'll go somewhere ourselves this afternoon and see how things are looking somewhere else other than where we went yesterday. That ball spot. Well, I'm kind of glad the first lady from Norfolk didn't call me back. She wants to do hers tomorrow. I don't know what's in here, but there's a lot. She said Carver. She was right. They're long tickets. Let's get them out of there. Yes. A lot of serrated. One, two, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, mm -hmm. nine, ser ten serrated, I think. An antique. Let's Ooh, that was Let's close. Okay. A gathering. We got nice Victor Knox, Mercer. 
Another Victor Knox. Everywhere. International Hangle. I don't know what this is. Nor do I know what that is. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay, we got to be busy. Well, we're off. Finally, it's five minutes to four. We got all the knives finished. We're going to try to go to that spot with the four parking spots where we found the gold platinum ring. We can't get a parking spot there. We'll move west to uh, Thimble Beach and hunt in that direction. Okay, let's see. Uh-oh, I don't like it. We're out, of, we're out of luck. There's two taquitos already here. Uh-oh, backup lights. Hello, Gladys. Ah, we have lucked out again. You remember the last time we were here, that's what happened. A fine soul is leaving. Outstanding. Well... The tide's not off as good as I'd like it here. I thought it would be off further. Hard to tell way up here high. We have to get down there. Well, remember the forecast at 8 to 14. Well, we got all the 14 for sure. But it don't look too bad. There's a kite surfer right there. Can you see him? Let me zoom in here on him. He's having a hell of a time today, boy. He's cooking right along, that guy is. He's got one of them boards that's got the fin underneath of it, so you come way out of the water. I don't know what you call it, but if I was 25, I'd have one. Maybe two. All right. Let's give it a try here. Pretty nice. I don't know if we'll find anything or not. But it looks okay. Stand by. Well, right here we got the first little hole. It's big. I mean, it's little. You can see there's an outer bar right there. And it comes back around in here like this. And it drives right up off there. It's about, uh, just below my knees right now. We we'll have to work in and out here a little bit. Well, we dug two targets. Junk stuff. This is a solid tin. Oh, it's a cruddy pull tab. I mean, cruddy too. Look at that, baby. Ha! Ah. We've got a solid eight. Side of a sunglass. <laughs> ha! They sound good, though. That little piece of brass on the end of them. Eighteen. Oh God. Outer bar. Got a nice nine right here. Pretty solid nine. That's a piece of crap.
Well, we've got a 14 right here. Right next to it. We've got a 4. See what the 13 is. Oh, that's another one of them cruddy pull tabs. Let's go see what number 4 is. He jumps a little bit from 4 to 6. That's another pull tab. One of them old kind, ringtail pull tabs. God, I'm on the pull tabs again today. That's a nice little 12. Oh God, no! Another pull tab. Good gracious me! Pull tab. I got this thing in pull tab mode or something. A little teeny one hooked on the side. That's a knobby shell whelk. See the knobs? They got smooth shell ones and knobby shell ones. That's a knobby shell one. He was going for a spin. And I dug him up. I bet he's unhappy. Well, the tide is getting off. There's the outer bar right there, you see it? I'm working down in this, this slough between here and there. Right pecker deep right over there. This, this will dry right up in a few minutes. The tide ain't low for about another 45, 50 minutes. 50 minutes. You can see how deep it is right here. <laughs> Chopper signal. Set of three keys. I better go back and check the hole. Might be more. Stand by. Got one more little deep hole right there. And one beyond it. But... I think I'm just going to hunt this first one, then I'm going home. I've been a lot hotter in my life. The wind is colder than I expected. But I got some pull tabs. Kite surfer getting ready to go surfing right now. Putting this stuff together right now. Well, I call it a Fred Sanford kind of spin. I was a junk man today. Sunglass arms, sunglasses. That's the cool set of keys. That's about the only thing. Denny says that's the best of it piece of a spark plug. I think the purple glass is the best of it. I got some nice pull tabs today though, and a ring pull. Fred Sanford Jr. God. I don't know where me and Boyd are going to go tomorrow. We'll have to work on some locations. <laughs>